Give up all the wild times Jump into the wildfire Just to have, just to have One more wild night When you give me this high I can wait a lifetime Just to have, just to have One more wild night Happy Thursday. It's Morning Coffee, and I'm Rick Alexander. That intro music was by Brittany Taylor. She's at Brittany Taylor with two E's and two E's on Instagram. I'm at Rick Alexander underscore and at the Morning Coffee podcast. If you want to interact with me, best way to do that is there. Also, we've got the Clarity Academy with the Immersion Program. So if you're interested in a three-day intensive weekend, going over the Clarity Academy, which is really a deep dive into self-exploration and figuring out what you want and who you are in life. If you're interested in that, you can go to rickalexander.com and sign up. Registration is open until the end of August. I would love to see you there. Of course, right now we're continuing the series that we're doing uh, based on my journal, which is like, uh, I, you know, I hope hopefully I would say go back and listen to yesterday's episode, starting with episode 390 and then go then go on uh, for the backstory. But the idea is that I closed out one of my personal journals and in that was the most transformational time of my entire life. So I'm going back through and I'm recapping some of the most important lessons. And, you know, I forgot this in yesterday's episode. But I always write a note to myself at the very beginning of the journal. Look, I'm weird, okay? So just accept that part of this. But I wrote a note to myself, and and it's interesting because I didn't even know what it meant, really. But I wrote, who you are is one thing, but who you'll become is everything. And it's interesting because I I see back when I wrote this of me, like, just somewhat scared, right? Like, just had gotten back from Australia. I was sort of, like, new out of the military. I had a dream that I wanted to really pursue, and I did, but I didn't, I didn't know if I could really make it happen. And that was a lot of pain in that transformation, a lot of pain in that process of me transcending programming and stepping into who I really am. But if I could say anything to you, it's, it's that, you know, who you are is one thing, who you'll become is everything. But today's question, the thing that I want to ask you is what do you feel the most inspired by? Now, looking back, this was back in February that I had this note to myself. And, um, I can tell that I was going through Angelo Sisko's Masculine Mastery course at this time because there's some real, you know, there's some real uh, deep roots there with his message. And if you guys don't follow him, I would just go ahead and do that because he's really a wealth of knowledge. One of the people that I look to for for advice in this life and wisdom in this life. And there's very few, right? There's about five. So (laughs) he's one of them. Um, But but the question is, what do you feel most inspired by? And when, when you think about inspire... I want you to think about the root word, which is, you know, to breathe life into. And so think about that context. Like yesterday we talked about how sort of we go through all of these things that are uh, mundane, right? And we sort of check out, we go on autopilot, whatever. Well, here's the, the opposite side of that equation is what are the things in your life that you really feel called to, right? That, that really, really pull you. I think you could go through your life and you could look at all of the activities, whatever you do from a day-to-day basis, and figure out what is it that drains you? That's what you're forcing, right? Like, what are the things that you're really forcing? You know you're forcing them because they drain you. Now, the opposite of that is power, and that's what pulls you. One of the things that I learned back in February is that you really have to learn to step into the rhythm of life, right? Like, force. there's not a thing in this life that you could force and have it actually work out. Not a relationship, not a job. Not a damn thing, right? And sometimes that's difficult because they're really good opportunities, like really good people, like like great humans, right? I think of everyone I've dated is a great human, but but they're a great human for someone else now, and that's okay. And, and same thing with opportunities, right? Like the job that I did in the military, incredible, right? Really it was. And that vision pulled me hard through my 20s. It really did. I really was in, into it and loved it. But then I got to a point where my growth and the, evol- my, the evolution of me as a human and my soul it was calling for something else. I could just tell I was ready for something else. And then it became, because I didn't leave, right? I, I had stayed a little bit past that time where I felt like I was ready for something else. Well, then what happened is I began to feel as though I was kind of forcing it. And, and I was no longer being pulled. And so stepping into the rhythm of life is sort of, what it is, is it's really dispensing with things that you're, you're, you're pushing, dispensing with things that you're forcing and stepping into things 
that are pulling you. You want to be in the rhythm. You want to be, you want to have the wind at your back in this life because if not, it's aggravating, it's exhaustive, and you don't actually get anywhere. That's something to really know, right? It's like you can force and push and because it won't work, you're not actually getting anywhere. And, and so when you think about what inspires you, you got to think too, like, what is it that makes you feel centered? That's one of the things in the Clarity Academy. We, we really look for activities that make us feel centered and they make us feel like we are uh, doing the thing that we're supposed to be doing. That's what centered feels like, right? When you are really in alignment with your values and the activities that pull you, it feels like what you're supposed to be doing. And so you could ask yourself, what are the activities that you do that no matter how much energy you author into them, no matter how much you push and how much you, how much you work for them, you always leave with more energy. Podcasting, speaking, writing, those things are that for me. So like right now I'm doing podcasts and then as soon as I finish here I've got about a 20 minute break and then I'm going to give a talk and then as soon as that's up I'm going to take a break and then I'm going to fly to Colorado and I'm going to go give that talk again so actually when this airs I will be in the air on my way to Colorado to give that talk and the thing is I could give talks all day every day truly and and just feel so much energy so much inspiration like just ready to create more and that's what you want to find in life right that's that's when you're stepping into the the right place. It's not that the military wasn't a good fit for a lot of people. It's just that it wasn't my thing now, and that's okay. And and so we have to be okay with letting parts of our life go that we're sort of dragging along. And that's what happens. You you know, you sort of like go around, it's like you go through some emotional stuff and you stuff it in your bag and then you go through some work related stuff and and maybe your boss is a dick to you and so you're like oh okay and you stuff that in your bag and then you go out to lunch and someone cuts you off and you're stuffing that around and you stuff that in your bag and then you carry that around you got to start putting this stuff down right you got to just you got to put the shit down for 2 seconds and then look around and 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 get back in the flow of your life get back in the rhythm stop fighting against the tide for things cuz you don't have to And it's useless too. It's futile. You know, one of the things, I don't think you can be anything you want in this life. And I know that's controversial because some people that are in my position do, but I don't. I don't, I do not believe you could be anything you want. I think you could, you could force it, but it wouldn't really work, right? Like I couldn't go be an accountant. Like no matter what, I just couldn't. It wouldn't, that would not be the thing for me, you know, but there's a lot of accountants that I could put in front of this mic and that wouldn't be for them. You know, the beauty though is when you really step into the rhythm and you really start going toward things that you feel called to and that are pulling you, what you find is what you want to be doing is actually what you're supposed to be doing, right? And that's, that's the thing, like that deep desire for that thing you've always wanted to do or try. The reason I always talk about that is because I believe it's the key. I believe you've got to find what inspires you. If you don't feel inspired, then that's when you really got to connect with that, that deep, still voice inside, right? And, and then ask yourself, like, what, what could I be doing right now that I'm not? Where do I feel called to? What's pulling me? Go in that direction. Let go of the shit that you're forcing. Let go of the stuff you're going through. Let go of that stuff just so that you can be open to the rhythm and the flow of life. Because what happens is you step into your power. You step into these other things. And, man, next thing you know, things that you're you're looking back at your journal and it's six months later and you are a completely different human, right? With a completely different outlook on life and business and spirit. And spirit's everything, you know? Uh, it's not everything, but it's one thing. It's one thing that matters that we, we, tend to, uh, we tend to negate the role of spirit in our lives. And, and we're, we're going a little longer in this one, so I'm not going to jump into, into that. But, but I will tell you that forcing stuff, it really dims the spirit. It really dims the soul. And the other side of that is as you find activities that inspire you and breathe life into you, even if they're just hobbies, even if they're just 15 minutes to journal in the morning, whatever that is for you, man, it sets your soul on fire. It really does. Like the expression of you is expanded and you feel like you can take on more. So ask yourself those questions. What are you forcing? And then what are you inspired by? Let go of what you're forcing because it isn't going to work anyway. Eventually, you're going to have to. And just go with the rhythm of life. That way, deep down, you will find that the thing you want to do and the thing you should be doing are the same thing. And it's probably the thing that's calling at you right now. I love you guys. Talk tomorrow. I don't know how to speak So many versions of me I've taken the foolish and buried the blind I 
ask for the truth Been pushed back in life And dark hearts stand still Maybe I'm broken and maybe I'm wrong Then we don't care about it anymore Maybe I'm foolish, maybe I'm Ooh, 